August 12th, Counterfeit Sanctification. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. 1 John 2, verses 4 and 5. The sanctification now gaining prominence in the religious world carries with it a spirit of self-exaltation and a disregard for the law of God that mark it as foreign to the religion of the Bible. It advocates teach that sanctification is an instantaneous work by which through faith alone they attain to perfect holiness. Only believe, say they, and the blessing is yours. No further effort on the part of the receiver is supposed to be required. At the same time, they deny the authority of the law of God, urging that they are released from obligation to keep the commandments. But is it possible for men to be holy, in accord with the will and character of God, without coming into harmony with the principles which are an expression of His nature and will? The desire for an easy religion that requires no striving, no self-denial, no divorce from the follies of the world, has made the doctrine of faith and faith only a popular doctrine. But what saith the word of God? Says the Apostle James, What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith, and hath not works? Can faith save him? Wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? The testimony of the word of God is against this ensnaring doctrine of faith without works, it is not faith that claims the favor of heaven without complying with the conditions upon which mercy is to be granted. It is presumption, for genuine faith has its foundation in the promises and provisions of the scriptures. Let none deceive themselves with the belief that they can become holy while willfully violating one of God's requirements. The commission of a known sin silences the witnessing voice of the Spirit and separates the soul from God. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. 1 John 2, verses 4 and 5. Said my accompanying angel, Time is almost finished. Do you reflect the lovely image of Jesus as you should? Then I was pointed to the earth, and saw that there would have to be a getting ready among those who have of late embraced the third angel's message. Said the angel, Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ye will have to die a greater death to the world than ye have ever yet died. I saw that there was a great work to do for them, and but little time to do it in. I saw that some of us have had time to get the truth and to advance step by step and every step we have taken has given us strength to take the next. But now time is almost finished, and what we have been years learning, they will have to learn in a few months. And they will have to unlearn much and learn again. And those who will not receive the mark of the beast and his image when the decree goes forth must have decision now to say, Nay, we will not regard the institution of the beast. A sketch of the Christian experience and views of Ellen G. White, page 52 to 55.